Well, good evening, wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. This is one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. Jim, how are you reading the formation? Yeah, Peter, you can look at this formation one minute and think that it is 4-3-3, and the next time you check, it'll be 4-5-1. And it's all to do with whether you've got the ball or not, and the wider attacking players being asked to apply defensive discipline too. When it does turn to a five across midfield, then the shape of this team takes on a much tidier, compact defensive look. Away. Tries to get it forward quickly. Ball's loose, who's getting there? He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Oh, good interception. Vage. Hoists it forward. Beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. Marley have an early lead. Good start. Tunisia are already chasing the game. Long time to go. Well, the task is obviously a lot tougher, and they can't afford to waste time feeling sorry for themselves. The correct response is greater focus and work rate now, and especially, especially avoiding another goal. Lovely feet, played into the middle. We can get that clear. Marley seem happy to let their strikers roam out wide. I wouldn't want that. No? Oh, well, my worry is that their their main threat is being shifted out of contention. Kasri. Played out to the right, that is terrific skill. And here's Kasri. Forward it goes. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Going through. The 
shot! And now they can launch a counter. Sakni tries to stroke it through. Kalshri gets it out to the wing. Gorgeous control there. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. It's found its way to him. Back into the middle. Bagge with the clearance. Real chance! Oh, I like the little feint he came up with to produce the effort. Very, very tidy. Gets wrestled off the ball. Half an hour played now. Now the counter. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. And it's played forward. Now a chance to break. Msakni. Msakni on a charge down the left. Tunisia are in need of a lift as we head up towards the break. Forward it goes. Could move up a gear here. Get the better of his opposite number. Looking to break out here. Gets it back. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Sakni. Sakni. Goes for goal! Gets good distance on it. And that's it for the first half. A breathless ending. So there you have it. A close sport half of football, but one that still had its moments but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, they definitely won't be happy with that half. They seem to lack a bit of desire, especially going forward. It wouldn't surprise me to see a change or two. Away again. Tunisia don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first if they don't grab an early goal in this second half. They can't hold back though. Plays it long. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Good challenge, he just stood firm. Let's try Ori. More than happy to take the muscular approach. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. 
Well, they can break here. That intervention was very necessary. It's a great effect in working their way through the middle then. A little more look though and they may have been celebrating. was a given it always was that's just a great finish but it's down to very clever movement you can see this has been obviously worked on on the training ground he knew exactly where he wanted the ball and it all came good starting to look very comfortable well with this kind of authority Peter why not push on and, and totally kill this off Sakti tries to get it forward quickly hoists it forward Vage Truthfully, it was hard to see any better outcome there. Played into space out wide. Gets away from his opponent. Traore. Hoists it forward. Cuts it out. And it's played forward. Breaks on here. Forward it goes. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. to get it forward quickly. Bagge is there to heave it away. Good idea, just poorly executed. And now the breakaway. Forward it goes. It's one! Oh, it looked like 3-0 for sure. He'll be fuming with himself for not converting. He could have killed it off. Mali are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. He's got through. A 
And it's played forward. Hoists it forward. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Well, you don't go down without a fight, and the sooner that message can circulate through the team, the better. The scoreline is, is a little up. This was gone, that's a foul. Gets up to head it! Just couldn't turn it in. Well, plenty of moving targets to pick out in the box. Obviously increases the chances of the ball being met like that by someone. From Sakpi. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. Play on the left-hand side now to profit from it. It's broken loose. Oh, terrible pass. And he's been booked for simulation. Yeah, it's a good spot. I think the replays will prove he was 100% correct with that decision. And that's it. No joy for the players, nor indeed for the loyal fans. It has ended in defeat. A thoroughly disappointing outcome. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Tunisia didn't quite recover from the early 